Once you have finished shopping and are ready to check out, simply click on the cart icon in the upper right hand corner. Then click go to checkout. The first thing that you'll do in the checkout process is review your orders. A couple of things to do while you're reviewing your orders is you can add overall order notes that you would like your shopper to see. If you have a coupon code, you can enter it here and click apply. You can also allow substitutions on all items. We recommend allowing substitutions for your entire order as it increases the likelihood of receiving all the items you need. But if you'd prefer just to allow substitutions on individual items, you can do so by clicking the Allow Substitutions button under an individual item. Some other things you can do while reviewing your order is you can remove an item from your cart. You can increase or decrease the quantity of the individual item. Or if you'd like to add an item specific note for your shopper, you can do so under item notes. Once you've reviewed everything in your cart and are ready to check out, click continue. The next step will be entering your customer information. Once you have done that, click continue. Now, in receiving your order, you will first choose the order pickup type. You can either pick up in store or pick up curbside. Then you'll choose the date and time that you'd like to pick up your order. Orders are allowed to be placed up to seven days in advance, but do need a three hour minimum processing time. Once you've chosen your pickup date and time, you can click continue. Here you can choose how you will pay for your order. You can choose credit or debit card and use one of the saved cards on your profile or add a new credit card. You can also choose pay later and pay when you pick up your order. If you're using an Adams gift card or EBT, please choose pay later. Once you've entered all your information and are ready to complete your order, simply click Place Order.